Hey guys, it's Bill from Competition Cars. So today, I'm coming to you from the third row seat of this 1972 Olds Vista Cruiser. And I wanted to start the video back here because number one, I just wanted to sit in the third seat, see how it felt to, to sit back here. It's actually pretty cool, very roomy. I love these cool fold-down visors. I love the uh, triple sunroofs or, or sky view lights, if you would call them. And uh, I don't see any seat belts back here. So I feel like the way I'm sitting, if I got into an accident, you're probably going to die back here, I would think, as close as your head is to the to the roof line and all the glass. But, uh, you know, safety wasn't a big concern in 1972. So let me hop out. We'll go around the whole car, but it's, it's cool back here. I like this. This is pretty neat. And um, we'll show you the rest of the car. So let me get out and see how limber I am today. Yeah. It's all right. Probably better well suited for a little bit younger person coming in and out. But what you're back there is pretty comfortable too. So 72, this is a um, Vista Cruiser 350 Rocket V8. And the miles, it has 64,000 miles. Now when I bought this car, <clears throat> I bought it from the previous owner who's probably the second or third owner. He tells me that that was the original miles. Now bring a trailer because there's no Carfax. I don't have a slew of paperwork on this car. They're calling it TMU, but I bought it as, as the original miles. I believe it's the original miles. So I'm gonna call it the original miles even though Bat has to do their, you know, their cover their butts as far as that goes. Now, one of the coolest things I like about this car, this is pretty neat. So you have a power rear window, and I got the keys here, I'll show you. So you can open this, this rear hatch two different ways. I guess they'd call it like a barn door uh, opening. And then you can also pull the tailgate down this way, which is pretty cool. Gives you access. Then all those seats, it's got some nice wood grain back there. All those seats will fold down so you could have the entire back flat if you wanted to, okay? And then there's two ways to do this window. There's a power with the key, and there's also a, a switch up front that operates that window as well. So I'll show, the, show you that it does work. And I'll go over the exterior in another video as well. I just want to kind of show you the interior and uh, all that. So manual roll up windows. The car has factory air, which works. We put a new compressor, did a full service on the AC. It went through the shop. Anything that they found this car needed mechanically was done. Oil change. If it needed belts or hoses or any other fluids changed or flushed or whatever, it's been done. Okay. But the interior looks like it's been redone in this car. It's very clean, very pristine. I love the steering wheel. It's probably not the wheel that the car came with. I don't imagine but it's a very cool looking wheel. It's a wood grain, or actually a wood wheel with the tri-spoke with the original Olds cap in the middle. AM radio, it seems like it comes on, but it's not really playing stations. Even if it did come on, I mean, what are you gonna listen to on AM? But I personally like a car, I'd rather have a non-functioning original radio than an aftermarket working radio, that's just me. So now, um, you wanna scoot back over here, we'll go over the engine bay. So what you have here, again, this is not a perfect, perfect show car. It is a nice 64,000 mile survivor. It's had some paint work. We'll go over that in, other, in the next video. But you got a solid engine bay, beautifully detailed. You got a solid interior. You got a solid frame, beautiful undercarriage. So we've done all the work for you as far as the major components. Um, as far as the interior of the car, an engine bay, you don't have to do nothing. It's all clean, it's detailed. It's uh, been, you know, basically we call it engine bay restoration. We just kind of bring it back, everything to its original luster. What needs to be painted, we paint. Whatever comes back naturally and looks good, we leave it alone. But it's got a beautiful engine bay. Like I said, the air conditioning is cold. Everything the car has works aside from the AM radio. Uh, and, but again, look at the interior. Door panels are all there. Seats are all there. Carpet, dash. All the interior is really nice and straight. I mean, definitely could tell it's a 60,000 mile car. Um, you know, the stuff like, the rubbers on the door. They're not all perfect. Some of them have some dryness to them, some you know, deterioration on the edges. Uh, the front one looks very nice. It's very soft and supple. This one could have been replaced. This one looks like it might be the original. So there's some things you can do to bring this car to the next level. All right, so coming around to the back side, vinyl top is in very good condition. Again, look at all these door panels, all the seats, everything inside the car. You know, the major components of this car are all there and all ready to go. It's just some fine tuning on some things if you want to, you know, make it better. Again, this rubber, this is better than the other side. Looks to be original. Looks like the front doors are perfect. These, I would say these are definitely replaced. These are original, okay? 
not expensive things to tidy up if you wanted to. Um, and these jams, the jams look good. There's a little bit of, I don't know if that's corrosion or previous corrosion. There's some little imperfections or a little rough looking right there, but that could just be from factory welds or whatever. But I do want to just point that out. But like up under the doors, you go up under the doors, they're all clean and there's no rust or rot on this car anywhere as far as that goes. And the car has been painted, so it's not the best paint job in the world. You know, we paint correctly and made it look good. So this will cover the exterior, uh, engine bay and behind the third row seat. And we'll wrap this video up and then we're gonna go ahead and do a video of the uh, ex exterior, I'm sorry, this is the interior. Then we're gonna do the exterior video that will go over the paint and the bright work and all the stuff we've done in the exterior of the car. So check it out. This car should be on Bring a Trailer in a day or so. Any questions, put them in the comment section. We're very good about being very, very responsive and engaged in the auction. So good luck, guys. And um, uh, again, yes, Rocket 350. And the engine bay is just beautiful in this thing. I love it. Very clean, very detailed, and ready, ready to show. So thanks, guys. Have a good day.